Hello, I am Brad. Today we'll be explaining remote junk loading in 1.21. So the way it works is by shooting a SAN through a portal in an unloaded chunk. So I can grab this text right here that is pseudocode of the falling block entity's tick. So it starts by moving the falling block and then doing the portal logic. And then this part right here is just to prevent duping sand through another portal and then there's other stuff like falling and landing on a block and turning back into a block so what we can do with this is if i go down here grab a tnt a sand and then i'm going to use glass to represent another portal just for the little demonstration is we have a sand and then we give it a bunch of motion with tnt in a loaded chunk, and then we pretend this chunk over here is unloaded and has a portal in it. So this sand has a bunch of motion in that direction so that it will, and then its next tick it will be in the portal. So this sand ticks, it moves into the portal, and then it goes through the portal in the unloaded chunk, which causes a portal ticket to be created in the overworld. Another way we can do this is with a piston. You can push the sand into a portal before it moves. So we give the sand a bunch of motion and then push it with the piston into the portal. So it's inside the portal right here. And then it will move. And then it will tick portal in this location. So it'll go through to the overworld in this location or, and generate another portal in this location in the overworld. So you can remotely load any chunk anywhere in the overworld or the nether. So what I had done with this is created this proof of concept sand cannon with a portal down there where you can input the TNT amount. I'm going to make this last just to show it work. And then I'm going to turn off my chunk loading. And then push this button to fire it. Now we can see the TNT goes up and around to this blast chamber right here the sand. And then it just goes up and around to reduce the height of the cannon. And so now it's just like the second direction. And then the sand is going to get pushed over here into the portal. And then that's going to set it in portal to true. So after it moves, it will go through the portal. And then we push it up here and then push it into a powdered snow so it just loses its X and Z motion after it ticks. And then so the sand is right is up here right now. Oh. So when I turn my chunk loading back on, uh, if I log ticket, we should see some portal ticket messages in chat where the sand goes through the portal. Yeah, we can see there is two portal tickets created, so we can teleport to those. We can see that a portal was generated right here, and here is the sand item. It's pretty cool. <laughs> what else you can do with this is something a little larger that I've been working on over the past couple of weeks is a pearl cannon that works with the sand remote chunk loading. So if I grab a, a, a end portal, an ender pearl, and then I have this test location on the panel right here. Push the encode button, and then we can throw a pearl. This is going to be quite laggy because there's a lot of TNT in order to go any reasonable amount of distance, because the sand can only travel for one tick and then it goes to the portal. So that means the pearl can also only travel for one tick before it goes through the portal. And my game is frozen. Oh, and see, we teleported to here, and you can see there's a bunch of portal ticket messages in chat. So I can fly around and show that like there's no other chunk loaders in this area that are loading this. It was completely loaded by the cannon itself. So I can go back to the cannon and kind of show how this works. There's like a little sand tower up here that drops the sand into the middle of the basket. 
And then there's no lava here right now because I have explosion no block damage enabled. But in like a real cannon, there would be lava here to prevent the TNT from just blowing up everything. And then we have dupers on both sides that shoot the TNT into the basket. Pretty normal pearl cannon stuff. And then it the cool thing about this is it does it in one shot. So normally if I grab like paint and draw the X and Z axes like this. We have X, or I guess Y, X and Y. And then I'll draw a TNT right here. T and T. So if we align the sand to the optimal position to get the most X motion, and then the pearl in the optimal position, then in their first tick of motion, the pearl is going to go farther than the sand because its feet height are closer to its eye height. So what we need to do is kind of bring the pearl to what seems like a suboptimal position. So it also gets a little bit of upwards motion, but it also gets less X and Z motion. So we can see the X motion of these two are the same. But then the pearl has a bunch of Y motion. So <laughs> we have a piston pushing down. Pretend that looks like a piston. It's pushing down a slime block in the basket to cancel out all the all the Y motion of the pearl so that it ends up just going in a straight line exactly as much as the sand does. So to show that in action I am going to reduce the TNT amount in the cannon so like the game is actually playable. Oh, and then encode it. So we can see the TNT is up here, and then there's the sand falling in from above. The TNT gets pushed over onto one side of the basket, and then the sand is still falling, and we can see this piston is starting to get pushed in. And then the sand and the pearl are going to kind of like stack onto the top of each other. And then the piston is going to push them down to cancel all the motion. <laughs> So I can use the data git command to show the motion of the sand and the pearl. So we can see the motion of the sand is 5.816, negative 1, negative 128.429. And I can do the same for the pearl. You can see the motion is almost the same. What? <laughs> yeah, that's remote chunk loading in 1.21. <laughs> Pretty much all of this is irrelevant now because of the new changes in the new snapshot. They just made Ender Pearl's load chunks, which is kind of cool for cannons. It allows us to do multi more than one tick travel, but oh, this is cool. It was fun to make while it was still like practical, I guess.